Uh, I teach at the, at the UBC Graduate School of Journalism a course called Reporting in Indigenous Communities. And one of the things that I, that I talk to them about is when they are going to report in Indigenous communities, they have to recognize that there is a long history of people coming into the community, uh, whether it's missionaries, whether it's anthropologists, whether it's art dealers, whether, you know, just go, the list goes on, bone stealers, you, you name it, coming into the community saying, I want to tell your story or I want to share your fabulous art or what, whatever, and taking it away. That's been the experience for First Nation communities for a very long time in Canada. And so in the context of my journalism class, what I do with my students is say, we go into communities and we say, we want to tell your story. I'm a news reporter, I'm a storyteller, I want to tell your story. And I share with my students that in fact, what we're, it, it is absolutely fair for a First Nation community to not observe us as storytellers, but as story takers. We go in and stick a microphone in their face, ask for a clip, you know, they cry or they laugh or whatever, we take it away, we edit it and put it on the news and then we go on to the next story. And so I think that the responsibility for journalists is not to, to, to be very cognizant of that unfortunate burden that we all journalists in Canada carry of that historical distrust that now exists between journalists and, and Indigenous communities, and to be very cognizant that, that we may be being perceived as story takers, and that we need to be far more transparent when we're dealing with indigenous communities about our purposes and how we're gonna package the material, how we're gonna tell the story. We need to be far more understanding of the cultural protocols of that community. We need to act with respect and not just with the newsroom, the, the culture of our newsroom, but to understand the communities that we're operating in. And then we have to be accountable to them afterwards. So when we present their story, and it creates a problem because editorial, I mean, our prime, uh, one of our very essential uh, principles of journalism is editorial independence. And so, no, I will not share the final draft of my script with a subject. I'm very clear about that. And if, and if you're uncomfortable with that, then I'm sorry. Then I, you, uh, we weren't, we're not going to have an interview then. Um, but once my story has gone to air, I'm very clear that I'm going to be accountable to you. And I will phone you up afterwards and say, what did you think? And I'll come to your back to your community and say, here, what, you know, ask me questions. How did, it, did I get it right? Did I get it wrong? How can I do it better the next time? So all of those things, this, this balance between storytelling and story taking, I think is a very, very critical when it comes to Indigenous people because of this long history.